Hey there, this is video 4.9 and it is kind of the last one on the sine law and acute triangles. We're going to move on to these triangles right away. But here's your last chance for some good practice. So like I keep saying, turn off the video, do the question, and then turn it back on. Okay, I'm going to trust you did that. Well, let's see, we're supposed to find x there. So we've got we have no letters. Little a, B, B. Doesn't matter what letters you use, the math will still end up working the same. But here's Matchy Matchy, the one that I know. And oh, this is the one I have to do. Just so you know, there was a moment of panic there going, what have I done? Why did I put that question in there? But you know what? We're okay. We got two angles. We need the third. 180 degrees minus 35 minus 88. And we can get the missing angle. Hold on. I'm going to switch to my phone. Not that I like my phone better, but I think it's easier to see. All right, so that's going to be 57 degrees. And I'm just going to put that on the picture right away. All right, so the one that I know is A over sine A is equal to, I'm looking for X over sine X. So little a I know, 44 over sine 88 is equal to little x, which is what the question asked me about, sine 57. All right. You guys all know that, right? I hope you know that by now. I don't know if you saw that. Me? Simple calculator. Come on. Eh. Scientific calculator for you. Make sure that it doesn't have radians up there. You need to have absolutely nothing because that means it's in degrees. But remember, what was it? What is your check every time you use a new calculator? You need to go 10, 45. That didn't work. Okay, 45, 10. So the key punch on my phone is different than the key punch on my handy dandy calculator, which is why y'all need to buy a calculator and use it all the time. Um, I don't like people using phones during exams, but we'll figure that out with this whole pandemic and online learning thing. We're going to get that straightened out in a bit. Anyway, back to the question. So now I have to go 88 and sign. Oh, look at all the numbers it gives me. Uh, move this down there. Now you can see. So 44 over 0. 9994. Nine, Still carry four decimal points, even though it gives you a whole bunch more in your calculator. Is x over 57 times 0 0.8287. Again, I'm rounding. Okay, cross multiply. 0.994x times 0 0.8. Three, seven, eight. So forty four times point eight three seven eight is equal to so zero point nine nine four x is equal to thirty six point eight six three two. And we're going to divide, oh, I lost the 9 there, 0 0.923x. Oops, that's a 4, not an x. Never divide by variables, bad things happen. So, divide by 4. x is equal to 36.88. So 
So x is equal to 37 and my units are millimeters. Because there's millimeters up there. And I just realized you can't see the end of that. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, there's x again, so that means this is big X. Uh, we'll call this A, side little a, which makes this B and little b. Again, whatever letters work for you. So I know, which one do I know? I know B. So this is the one I know. So B, for sine B, and which way I want? I want X. So there we go again. I got two angles, and I need that third one. So 180 degrees minus 52 from there minus the 118. It's not going to give us much. Minus 52 minus 118. 10. All right. 10 degrees. is equal to, okay, so x over sine x, as I could have written that before. So b, which is 45, over sine 52, is equal to x over sine of 10. Zero point seven eight eight zero is equal to x over sine ten ten and whoopsies we're ten and sine zero point one seven three six cross multiply Okay, before you get worried that I wrote the x first and then put the number that was just an oops. I wrote the x. I'm working in pen, so we'll just leave it because it's multiplication. Order really doesn't matter. <coughs> but it looks weird, so I'm going to flip it already. 45 times 0.1736. Seven point eight one two. And divide it out. Divide by point seven eight eight zero nine point nine X is equal to ten meters. All right, now, the fact that this was 10 degrees and this is 10 meters is just a coincidence. Don't think those always have to match, too. But what we can look at is, obviously, 10 degrees is much smaller than 52 degrees. So the side opposite, which I can put in as 10 meters, should be much smaller than the side over there. And if we didn't want it to calculate it, although we're not going to, a would be bigger than both of those sides because angle A, 118, is the biggest of all. All right, let's see what we're supposed to do here. I guess it's all about x's. So make that big angle x there. So this is little x here. And we'll call this A and little a. So A is my matching pair, matchy matchy. So this one looks like we have two sides and an angle. And it's not an angle sandwich. So we are good to use um, the sine law. So 12 over sine 67 
is equal to little x, which is 13 over sine x. Now, before we go further, look at how 12 and 13 are pretty close. That means 67 and sine x. So x should probably be somewhere around 67, right? Because these numbers are pretty close, the angles are going to be pretty close. Because, you know, biggest side across from biggest angle, if they're almost the same size, both the angles and the sides end up being almost the same size. And if that really confused you, sorry, don't worry about it. So 67 sine 0 0.9205 is 13 over sine x. Okay, cross multiply. feeling that all the other times I wrote this part first, but it's an equal sign, so it really doesn't matter either. So 12 sine x, so 13 times 0 0.9205, 5 by 12, 5 by 12, Oops, sine x, don't lose the sine part. Zero point nine nine seven two. And then I can go second and sine c. Well, you can't see. All right, so my calculator, when I hit second, see this is my normal calculator. And when I hit second, not only does that um, light up, I guess, but look what happened to my sine button. See? It actually has that sign to the minus one and equals. Oh, okay, so I don't know what I just did on my calculator. I'm not used to using my phone, so let's just punch that in. So 0.9972, whoopsies, 0.9972, and then second, whoops, second and sign. There we go. X equals 85.7. Equals 86 degrees. Okay. So much for my prediction saying that they should be pretty close. I don't think I'm wrong. I just think the difference in, I guess, a whole meter is enough to make a big difference in the degrees. I shouldn't have squished so much review on a page. But you guys should be getting bored. That's what I'm going for. I want you to practice so much it comes permanent. It's not perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect. And I hope, I really hope you feel the same way about me. I'm going to do my best, but I am going to screw up once in a while. Make a mistake, fix it, make it better. Okay? But the more you practice, the easier it's going to become. And the less stress you're going to have when you have exams or something you have to hand in, where you don't have a video or an answer key to check on, and life's going to get better. So that's x. We'll call this a. And well, I might as well call that e over there. So that's this is little a. And this is little e. And let's see. I want this one. That's what I'm looking for. And the only number I have is that one. So it looks like I better do some subtraction first. 180 degrees in a triangle, right? The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. You guys know that. I've said it a thousand times. Minus 61 degrees, minus 48 degrees. And what is left over? I don't know. 180 minus 61 minus 48, 71 degrees. All right, so that, there we go. So now we can do it. A over sine A is equal to X over sine X. So little a is 21 over sine 71 degrees is X, which I don't know, over 
sine 61. So 21 over, all right, sine 71, 71. Oops. Hey, let's just try that. Oh, goodness. 71. My calculator was sitting like that. If I do that, it comes up with error. You can't do that. No, no, no. Not second. Just plain old sine. So 71 sine 0 0.9455 is equal to x over now 61 and sine 0 0.8. 746. All right, let's cross multiply. 0.9455x is 21 times 0 0.8746. Nope. Dyslexia, making up my own numbers. 0.9455x. 21 times 0.8746. Ah, 0.8746. How about now? 18.3666 divided by 9455. Nineteen point four, so we'll make it nineteen centimeters. You can round it, right? Because that's a whole number, so we'll just round that one to a whole number two. All right. It's getting to be a long video. I have to remember not to put so much practice on a page. All right, last one. You know what? Um, I don't trust that this video hasn't gotten really long, so I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to do another quick. Quickie video to do this last question.